Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.com and today I am going to tell you about uh, my membership program and uh, this membership program will provide you a full .NET Core basic to advanced video tutorial and um, uh, including projects. It's a project based courses in all technologies in just 800 rupees. Okay. How to get this membership? Okay. The first question is how to get the, uh, this membership? You just fill this form. You just fill this form, your name, your email ID, your contact number, transaction reference ID, order ID or PayPal ID. If you are belong from India, just to pay using this UPI ID and 800 rupees for Indian users. And if you are belong from other uh, country, you just pay um, via PayPal. This is my PayPal ID, narinkumar8551 at gmail.com. And you just pay $15 from outside India. Okay, Or you can use this QR code also and just click to the submit button and uh, uh, just after that you will receive a mail confirmation message and uh, just after confirmation message you receive your content okay so just fill this form okay so let's get started uh, in chapter 4 of blog CMS and uh, you know that that is the part of API that is already done in uh, uh, part 3 where we have a login and registration so i just repeat it uh, in part four videos uh, so just i i want to uh, first of all uh, register check the register api using swagger so just try it out and you just write it your email address like uh, uh, xyz at the rate of gmail.com it's a gmail address and i want to check it uh, like xyz at the rate of one two three four five and just click to execute it so you know that uh, it's a subscriber uh, it's not a actually admin so just i want to uh, log in and generate a token so just copy that uh, request body and paste it here in the post action method try it out and here we go for to paste this data xyz at the rate of gmail.com and this data and uh, actually api written back to the token to the client and this is the token and here we have a expiration time okay i want to use this token and expiry time to log in into uh, your angular application and here we have a angular application like that just i want to click to the login button and here we have a email login like uh, admin at the rate of gmail.com but i want to log in in your account at the rate of gmail.com and here we have a password like xyz at the rate one two three four five and just click to the login and here we uh, here we go now you can see here we have a you know the hello this one and with the logout button just I want to click to the logout button and user will log out. You can see that here we have a CMS a drop down menu uh, that will not visible for your, you know, uh, for the subscriber only. Subscriber can read only the post and related data for the websites only. So uh, you can just log out and you can see that again, you can see that login and the register button. Okay, that's cool. Now just again I logged in in your admin account admin at the rate of gmail.com and here we have a admin password okay and you can see that for the admin you can see here we have a category and the post related to the categories we just see uh, just after the few seconds you can see the category list here because the whole category is actually fast from the API so wait for some time and I think it's uh, nothing to add it here. So just I want to click to add button and like uh, fashion I want to add the category here okay so just click to again inspect element and go to oops I, I think get a console and you can see in the console okay 401 is unauthorized okay so user is un un unauthorized because right now I'm not using token here. Okay, so because you know in the categories controller we have a authorized attribute. 
but uh, API want to get back the token that provided by the API to the client. So here you can see that here we have a authorized attribute here. So nobody can see in the um, get all category, post categories, get categories, but you can see uh, the post. So you can just go for the post and you can see the post list here. Okay. So because it's not implemented right now, only implement the login and logout functionality uh, with their uh, services. Okay, so let's check, uh, just check out uh, inside your Visual Studio code and here we have a authentications uh, directory. Under the authentication directory, we have uh, two components. The first one is authorized view component and another one is the uh, login component. And also we have uh, two uh, TS file, I mean to say the TypeScript file. The first one is authentication.model.ts and the second one is authentication.services. In model.ts we have a email and the passwords like and uh, login response ratio we have a token and expiration time. So based on the token you just receive all the data from the API and expiration time I mean to say that if you are exp uh, if you if you have done your expiry of your token, that means you just logged out from the system. Okay, so here we have your authorized view. Now, uh, you know that uh, we have a menu control. So you can see that that is the menu. Okay, that is the menu control here. So in the menu control, we just use authorized view. Authorized view is uh, working as a child component in the menu. So here we have a app menu component.html. And in the app menu component.html, here we have a app authorized view with the admin role admin. And also we have a app authorized view uh, for the ng container. ng container have a select tag that is authorized and not authorized. Okay, authorized and not authorized, that is the different part of the select element. Uh, I mean to say that uh, in authorized view, we have two elements, the first element and the second element. But in case of admin, you can see here we have a role features also. I mean to say that that string value passed to the child component and what is the child component? That is the app authorized view working as a child component here. So uh, if you are admin, so you can display this data. Also admin can see this element. Okay. So in authorized view, we have a ng content here. So you can see that ng content okay so in ng content if you are admin then you can see authorized view as well as well as the admin okay that's cool now uh, you can just get the token from the api by using you know by using the services so authentication services.ts is used it here so if you are authenticated then you can use is authenticated if you are uh, just get the field from the token, I mean to say that role field, email field, if you want to get it. So you can use get field from token also. And you can, if you want to save the token, then you can use uh, save token in the local storage. So these are the services used in the uh, code. And uh, I completely, you know that um, this is actually, I, I share you, I will share you if you are a uh, member of the channels only members can see the code and uh, you can download the code completely if you are a member of the channel okay that's cool now uh, okay so it's a basics uh, of the code ab uh, about the authentication and registration is pending right now and also we just uh, um, uh, send the tokens uh, via the interceptors http interceptors and guard also uh, used it here to protect the routes. Okay, so wait for some times for the next video where we will introduce you about the uh, interceptors, what is the interceptors and the guard. Guard can protect your incoming and uh, outgoing request. I mean to say that protect your URLs, endpoints and interceptor is intercept your incoming and outgoing request. So interceptor can uh, interrupt your incoming request. So modified it and attach the authorization token or you can say that barrel token and send to the client again so that you can access your resources from the API. So that wait for the next video where we will introduce you about the two features like card and the interceptors. 
Thank you very much for watching this video.